Hello, welcome. My name is Clunny Anaya, and I'm the graphic designer at the Farm and Ranch Museum. I'm going to take off my mask because I'm here at home by myself, and it's easier for me to talk to you and easier for you to hear me. Thank you for allowing me to be in your home to do these activities. So uh, the Farm and Ranch has put together adult crafts and I'm going to be the instructor. We're going to do nine different boards. This is an example of what I came up with so you guys can kind of visualize it and get an idea. And the first one we're going to do is a heart. And here's the heart that um, I got the idea from. What we're going to do is I'm going to tell you the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need um, your board or a canvas or you can go to your local craft store and purchase a heart that's already cut out. You're going to need paints, brushes, a cup to put your water in, a palette to put your paint in, some wire to hold your, your heart together, so let's start by making our heart shape. And for me, it's easier if you just get a piece of paper and make a template of a heart. For those of you who don't want to do that, you can just um, trace your heart shape on your board or your canvas. So the way you make a template is you just get a paper that is the same size of your canvas or board that you're going to be working on. And what I suggest to do is fold your paper in half and then on one side of your paper you want to go ahead and trace a heart shape using that space that you have on your piece of paper. Go ahead and try to make your heart as big as you can. So can you see how I traced it? Maybe I need to make the lines a little darker. There you go. So that's half of a heart. And after you cut it, you'll have your perfect heart that you want to start painting on. Go ahead and use your heart template to trace on your board. So use a pencil, just go around your heart and trace it onto your board. Pretty easy. Just hold your heart in place so it doesn't move. Okay, so you probably have all your supplies ready. Your brushes, your water. Just put a little bit of water in your cup. Mm, say about that much, just to be able to rinse your brush out. And then go ahead and get your palette ready so you can put your paints on so we can get started. So those of you who don't want to do the cutting, and um, just want to paint your heart on the board, you can. So what I would suggest for you is darken out your heart design and then whatever color you decide to do your heart, you'll paint in it here. And then these edges here, you can paint it a different color. That way your heart will pop out. And those of you who want to use embellishments on your board, you can go ahead and apply those onto your heart now, which if you decide to use a piece of fiber, this is a, a piece of material that I found a flower on, just for an idea and example that you can go ahead and put on your heart. And then you can either let your flower go off the heart or you can cut away on the side of it so it goes into your heart. And those of you who want to use some paper to collage, 
your heart, you can do that and cut it into the shape or the area that you want to put your paper on. So when you apply any types of fiber or paper on to your heart, you can use a product. It's Maj Paj. I love this product. It's like glue. So for those of you who are, that are more advanced and want to cut out your heart, I did mine. It took me probably about 45 minutes. But as you can see, in one piece, here it is. And then there, these are my sections, my three sections that I cut out. I went ahead and uh, used a sander to like buff up the sides. Makes it softer and easier to use. I went ahead and drilled my holes. By now you've picked out your color that you're going to paint your heart. So this is a little bit of a fuchsia, here's a dark red, here's a pink, and then here's white. I always like to use that for some detail. So I think I'm going to start out with this fuchsia. Shake up your paints really good. And then put the colors you want to use on a palette. And I think I'm going to use the pink. A little bit of pink. And then a little bit of white. So I've chosen this type of brush. It's a little thicker brush to, you know, when you're using a large amount of area, you want to use a bigger brush. For more detailed painting, you probably use, want to use a smaller brush. So I'm going to get started painting. So dip your brush in some water and then just start applying your paint. You want your paint to be a little bit a little bit liquidy, not that much. And then you just start painting. Paint your sides. You might have to do a couple of coats, but that's fine. Don't forget to do the inside of your heart. Don't be afraid to put too much paint on there because you want to make it nice and solid. Make sure you get all your edges. And don't worry about if you get paint on the back. I'll show you how to take care of that little, if you want to call it a mess up, a mess up, but it's not. Because I'm going to show you how you can clean it up. So see how I've painted that? That's my middle section. I'm going to go ahead and add some pink. So I want it to have a little bit of contrast. And as you're working with your paint, it should be a little bit wet, so it's easy to blend. Don't forget to do your insides, edges. So there's my heart. So what you can do, those of you who um, have decided to do the three part like I'm doing, Go ahead and um, put the pieces together and you can kind of visualize more where you want to lighten it up. Like me, I'm like, oh, I think I want it a little bit lighter in this area. And if your paints are kind of dry, just kind of dab your brush into some water, just a little bit of water, and it helps with your blending. I think I want to add a little bit of white in the middle, so I'm just going to dab a little bit of the white that's on my brush and just do it in the middle to make it a little bit lighter. And as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking I might want my edges to be a little bit more red. So 
So I poured a little bit of a darker red. You want to see it? And I'm going to put that around the edges. And then just blend it into my magentas and pink. I kind of want that to stand out a little bit more. You can do your edges so it kind of blends in. Can you see that? See how that red kind of gave it a little bit more of an accent? Okay, so I finished painting my heart and I like the way it turned out. Now I want to add my embellishments. So I have some suggestions if you want. I had these laying around my house. They're just the uh, little rhinestones, different shapes and sizes. You can add to your heart and or I found these buttons. So just some ideas. You can even put buttons on there. I also use these upholstery um, nails. Just whatever you have around the house. Be creative. Um, if you're going to use buttons or anything like that, I strongly suggest, I use this uh, E6000 glue that seems to hold really well. So I finished putting my embellishments on my heart and I used rhinestones. I'm real happy the way that turned out. So those of you that are using this glue to put your rhinestones on, if you decide to put rhinestones or anything, and you get a little bit of glue around your rhinestones, it's very forgiving, this glue. All you do is put your finger down there and just kind of smudge it around there, and it comes off, and it cleans up really well. Okay, so now we are ready to put our heart together using wire. So I had some of this wire laying around the house and it's floral wire. So I'm gonna kind of make an estimate on how long I wanna use uh, for my length. And once I do, I'll just use some little wire cutters and cut it and then put them together using your holes that you pre-drilled. Okay, so I decided to cut my wires. I cut four of them, and I cut them about um, five inches long, and that's what, how I wanted it to look. So then I have attached them. And then what I did was when I ran it through the hole, I just twisted it together. And then what you want to do is you want to turn your wire to where the twisted part will be covered in the hole so you won't even see it. Okay, so I'm almost done with my last wire. I'm going to feed it through this hole in the back. Be patient. And then you just um, thread it through and then you have your two wires I don't know if you can see but your one wire and then you're going to twist them together so just get your sandpaper and just slightly rub off the paint that you have on the back of your board okay so I've cleaned up my back and I'm very happy with the way my heart turned out. Now I'm ready to complete this heart 
and I'm going to use a nailless saw tooth picture hanging tool. It's really easy to use. Just place it in the center where you want it and you just get your hammer and you just hammer it right into the wood. Okay, we're done. I hope you guys had fun. From the Farm and Ranch Museum, Connie and Aya, hope to see you soon.